students in this session we are going to see about single double and triple rota system in free vibration so the third type of free vibration is torsional vibration consider a system which has a disc attached at the end lower end and the upper end is fixed to the rigid body theta is the angular displacement of the shaft from the mean position which is the theta is the displacement which is turned to an angle m is the mass of this disc i is the mass moment of inertia to calculate i m into k square here k is the radius of gyration in meters and q is the torsional stiffness of the shaft newton meter to find angular velocity omega root of q by i we know that time period t is 2 pi by omega so substituting the value of omega we get time period 2 pi into i by q natural frequency is the inverse of time period 1 by tp is 1 by 2 pi root of q by i so this is the formula to find the natural frequency for torsional vibration so for a single rota system the frequency becomes 1 by 2 pi root of cube i one end is fixed and the other end has a rotor which is twisted to an angle where c is the modulus of rigidity of the shaft material j is the polar moment of inertia of the shaft which is pi by 32 d power 4 unit is meter power 4 and d is the diameter of the shaft l is the length of shaft and m is the mass of rotor for two rotor system there is a center node and the two ends of the shaft is connected to a disc which has torsional vibration occurs at point A because of rotor A and at B because of rotor B which is F and A is 1 by 2 pi root of Cj by Iala which denotes the inertia for one rotor A rotor and inertia for B rotor length of A rotor from the center and length of B rotor from the node point which is equal f and a equal to f and b therefore l a becomes i b l b divided by i a the total length is l a plus l b this is the torsionally equivalent shaft to have to find a torsionally equivalent shaft we should have a formula so that all the di diameters of the shaft is said to be a constant value consider this diagram in which the first part the di diameter is d1 the second is d2 third is d3 so we should change the different diameters to a single diameter we have a formula torsionally equivalent shaft formula is l is equal to l1 plus l2 into d1 by d2 the whole power 4 plus l3 into d1 by d3 the whole power 4 which is le becomes l into d1 by d2 d1 by d2 the whole power 4 plus l3 into d1 by d3 the whole power 4 so for a two rotor system we can solve this problem a steel shaft of 1.5 meter long is 95 mm in diameter for the first 0.6 meter of length that is d1 is 0.6 and 60 mm in diameter for the 0.5 meter of length that is d2 and d3 is 50 mm for the remaining length therefore the total length is 0.6 plus 0.5 plus 0.4 becomes 1.5 so we should calculate the equivalent length the shaft carries two flywheels at two ends a and b 
having mass of 900 kg at 0.85 meter radius of gyration K which is located at 95 mm diameter N and the second is at the mass of 700 kg M2 with the radius of gyration K2 at the other end. So first we should determine a node and F a natural frequency for free torsional vibration. Given modulus of rigidity of the shaft is 80 giga newton per meter square. So take the diagram, draw the values and take L1, L2, total length LA, LA becomes point to N1, LC N2 to last point and the frequency becomes 1 by 2 pi root of Cj by Ia La. For 3 rotor system, the formula is Fn A equal to Fn B is equal to Fn C which includes La equal to Ic into Lc by Ia and substituting the values in 2 and 3 we get 1 by 2 pi into root of Cj by Ib into 1 by L1 minus La plus 1 minus L2 minus Lc is Cj by Ic into Lc. So take this problem as a homework. The three rotors A, B, C have mass moment of inertia m k square 2000, 6000 and 3500 kg meter square respectively its i value is given which is carried on a uniform shaft of diameter d is common 0.35 the length of the shaft between rotors a and b is 6 meter and b and c is 32 meter total length is between A and B is 6 and B and C is 32. Find the natural frequency of torsional vibration. Take modulus of rigidity 80 giga newton per meter square. The torsional vibration for three rotor system for this problem is given as engine is equivalent to rotor moment of inertia k value is given flywheel is the second rotor and propeller is the third rotor similar to the previous problem it is given with the specific components the first and second rotors is connected by the diameter is 50 mm having length 2 meter and second and third is connected by 25 mm at a distance of 2 meter long shaft. Take modulus of rigidity 80 giga newton per meter square. Neglect the inertia of the shaft. Find natural frequency and position of the nodes. Similar to the previous problem, substitute the values in the formula and you will get the answer. Thank you.